Lately, I've been a little in love with being human and the idea that you can be whoever you want to be and that you can live whatever life you want. All you have to do is create a clear picture in your mind of what that is and basically just start pretending that it's the way that it already is, if that makes sense. And I've been thinking about this for myself recently and asking myself questions like, who is this person that I want to embody during this lifetime, I guess? What is her life? What does she prioritize? What brings her joy? Because obviously I think before I can become these things and create these things for myself, I need to have an idea of what these things are in the first place. So I just did a little brain dump. And one of the first things that came up was finding time to journal, meditate, process her thoughts, feelings, because that's really something that helps me feel like grounded and centered. And I think to become this like person that I want to be, I need to find ways to get to that center of myself and act out of that grounded place more often so I can get very easily overwhelmed by by things in life and the intensity of it all. Sunshine and bird song. That's just because I was in the sun this morning and the birds were chirping and it made me really happy. Dance parties and good music is something I need to do more of and something that just fills my cup up and it feels so good to move. Like there's a reason that after animals have been in situations of high stress, a lot of them will quiver or shake. It's because it's like releasing <laughs> the energy. So I think, yeah, good music and the healing of like dance and stuff I have to do more of because I always feel so good when I do it. This person that I want to be is like focused on priorities. I think a lot of all of this is just knowing what to channel your energy and your time towards because if you don't have a plan for your time, for your energy, for your effort, then I think it's really easy for it to kind of get dispersed in a bunch of places that don't fully matter. And I was feeling anxious a couple of days ago and I was telling Dustin that I just, I really feel like I need to plan. I feel like my life happens in cycles and in this part of the cycle, I've kind of reached the beginning of like a planning cycle, a planning phase. And um, yeah, it doesn't feel good for me when I don't have something to kind of be my North Star to guide me in what I should be doing in my off time or how I should use these very limited hours that we have in this lifetime. <laughs> Has plans and goals that she channels her energy towards. That's what we should just talked about. Is constantly learning something that fills her up and she finds interesting. I don't feel quite right when I'm not learning something, um, processing information and like learning something new. And lately, I've really been wanting to explore a couple of topics, one being introversion. I think the more that I'm surrounded by people and I meet new people and how they are and even seeing the way that people close with me interact with others, I'm starting to realize that I think I truly am an introvert and I need alone time. And I'm curious like what things come along with introversion that I might not have attributed to that in the past? Like what are things that I do that are probably because I need time alone to regenerate my energy? Another thing I've been interested in that I've been listening to like little podcast thingies of or little talks has been archetypes. I've really been interested in the idea of storytelling and the way that storytelling can help us understand our internal world and I guess like our, I don't know the word I'm looking for, like our patterns, I guess, and using archetypal symbols like the victim or the martyr, all these things that I've been learning about has been really neat. And I want to keep on, keep on getting into that. Isn't worried about money finances, but is aware, mindful, and rarely uses energy or funds on things that aren't bringing joy. Having worked six days a week, for the past four months, not spending any money and basically channeling all of my time into a job that is not necessarily fulfilling, but is fulfilling in the sense that it's making me money so that I can then use the money to go travel. I think it's time for me to relax a little bit on not wanting to spend my resources because I have been working so hard to kind of get the funds up that now I am okay and I need to like relax about that. But obviously not spending money on things that don't matter. I think that kind of goes hand in hand with just like having a plan for my time and energy. Also having a plan for my money and only spending my money on things that either 
bring me joy or contribute, I guess, to like my overall grand plan of things. Stretching, spending time in her body is something that I'm honestly really bad at. I'm really good at spending time in my head. I'm really good at doing mental work, emotional work. When it comes to prioritizing, taking time to be in my body, it has become one of my weaknesses over the years. I feel like I used to be better at it. Obviously in school, I played sports and I used to be a lot more active and made time to move my body a couple of years ago. And now I've just kind of like shifted my focus so much more to like mental things. And the spending time in my body just kind of like falls to the wayside. But every time I do it, it makes me feel so good. And I think it is another thing that would help me feel like centered and grounded, which is something that I previously mentioned I think I need to do. So in tune with her body and its cycles, again, taking the time to spend with my body, but also being aware of the way that my body feels maybe during certain emotions or I track my cycle. So maybe I should start like tracking my moods to see how my body is affecting other parts of my life as well. Learning, learning, learning. <laughs> stream of consciousness that one that one just came up grounded and centered not much to say about that one responds instead of reacts i saw this little quote somewhere actually the other day and i feel like it was just a great like such a good way of i don't even have words for it to be fair it's just i feel like a lot of the ways that we act sometimes are reacting to things instead of responding and it's coming from like a outward place rather than like you internally inside so I really liked that responding rather than reacting and taking a minute to find the center before deciding what your actions will be so I'm going to keep that in my mind or I guess I need to start pretending that that's the way that I already am because <laughs> eventually if I pretend long enough and then I do it it's something that I do therefore it's something that I am I think that's how it works work is a reflection of her life and her internal work basically just saying that this person that I want to be and that I am has work to do in this world that is in alignment with the work that I am doing on myself. And it doesn't take away from the work that I need to do, that I know that I need to do <laughs> on myself. The energy she creates and moves through is what she shares and conveys to others. Basically just extending my, um, my reach, my circle, letting other people in to what I am experiencing and going through and creating that space. Work is easy, effortless, and fills her up. Doesn't that just sound so good? Doesn't that just feel so good saying that work is easy, effortless, and fills her up? Not that it's not hard or that it doesn't take effort, but effortless in the way that everything you're putting out and everything I'm giving out gives back to me, either equally or twofold, you know? So it's something I'm going to continue to think about, meditate on. And by meditate on, I just mean think about and maybe stream of consciousness, write some more things. But genuinely, if this is also something you're kind of kind of into, like just becoming this person that you've always envisioned yourself becoming or wanted to become, I think it would be really neat if whoever's into this kind of stuff can just go into the comments. And when you think of the questions, who is this person? What is their life? What do they prioritize? What brings them joy? And just like type or voice, um, voice to text, stream of consciousness, all the things that you can think of or what comes to mind when you think of this person that you want to embody and their life. And then send that in the comments because I think it'd be really neat to read through and see who you want to become and what you want to be and maybe pull some inspiration from you as well. So just brain dump in the comments, read each other's comments, comment on them, get to know each other down there. And I think that's everything for today. So thank you as always for joining me on this little corner of the internet. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.